Now that's neat. And you just turn it. It got a socket with a hole in it. Seventy five dollars. We better get you one then. What you gonna do with it till it ain't gonna work on? I might. No. And if I don't, at least somebody else will have the tools they need to fix it. That's neat. But that one is seventy five dollars. <laughs> what if I need two? <laughs> what if I need two? You shouldn't need two. I don't have that one for seven years. And it fit in it. Oh, it's a certain. It ain't fitting anything. It's a certain size. It only fits a three-quarter line. That's all that it fits. Oh. Everything need to be three-quarter. Everything. And then look, George, we need this here, too. Yeah, that's the adjustable thing. Yeah. You turn around in a circle and bend. Yeah. yeah. We can do some stuff with yeah, this. Okay, can, Tori. I don't know what we gonna do. I don't need it, but we need this. Yeah, we need it. We need yeah, it. Yeah, CJ being this way, he had to go down. Ooh, this little old two right here. They got a lot of little old two. <laughs> oh, yeah. I gotta get me another one of these flat drill things. And then I gotta get me uh, um, one of them socket things. It's a hole in there. What is that? Uh, that's where, uh, all right, this is your fuel rail. It's a rail. You got fuel that come out of this rail, go through each line to each injector. So you got six injectors. So whatever the engine commands, it sends fuel through this line right here to the injector. Oh. Oh. And that one leaking. You got a hole in there. But baby, I'm going to get you washed. I'm going to wash you up, man. Is this is this lying on every truck? You reckon that's what wrong with that line? I think it is on every truck. I don't know. Let's add the way. Is the fuel injector line on every truck? No, nah, it's different. Like oh, no, nah, it's different. A truck, man, man, that's on a Huey system. So, injectors, the fuel lines for your injectors are, are individual. It's on one pump. It doesn't have a common rail. So, you got a line off that pump to each injector. That's what they call a Huey system. A Huey. Yeah. Man, that ain't, that's not the problem. Remember, you're still losing water? Yeah, I think so. Like it's ahead? Yep. Yeah, it's just, when he was explaining to me, it sounded like that. Yeah. I think yeah. I could do that right there now. Yeah, you could do it too. I could only change that one because it's like it's too much stuff around the other ones. See, Sherelle, we can do that. We can put us some gloves on so we don't mess up our nails. Mm -hmm. He got gloves on. We can wear gloves, too. Mm -hmm. I need some now. Just touching it, too. Uh-huh. We can do that. That's very easy. Right, Sherelle, come with all these damn four the leaves on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what you got out there? <laughs> That's what they call it, four the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, Tori, why I was wearing it. Looking like a Saints mask. <laughs> <laughs> why I tell you I was wearing it? They come out here messing with me. <laughs> and I'm going to put this on and mess with the white because I know he's going to have something to say. I was reading a story behind it for the lady. So, D, what did you actually, you changed yeah, that gasket that right there? I didn't like, I didn't, I didn't like, I didn't like the story of this, Lee. That's crazy. Honey, hun so you changed that gasket thing? Yeah, that's a the, gasket right here. Oh, and you put this pipe back on there? I'm going to put a new one on there. Oh, that's not a pipe. Yeah, two pipes. Okay, that's a pipe. All right. Yeah, that was something to write about this. That them darn Frenchmen was crazy. It was crazy. A lot this of people easy. wanted them to take take this away from yeah, the, the saint as being the saint uh, symbol. I'm like, yeah, they sure do need to. That's pretty easy. They were just racing. I couldn't do that. Everywhere back then. And I didn't realize uh, Louisiana had uh, more slaves than what they did. Mm -hmm. I just didn't. 
think of them people, you know, because they were old young, but they had slaves too. Well, you know, it was one of the major ports in the United yeah. States at the time. We're in the South, it was the only port. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of slaves down there. So you gotta tighten that back on first, then you tighten the boats on. Yeah, because if you tighten it, the gasket first, it'll be cocked one way or the other. Oh, okay then. I got you. Let me say he gonna be calling you sick and we get you can get a deal on that gasket seat. Oh yeah. That's a three piece. He head, priced man. the the gasket kit. He priced it for them. Yeah, I got head. a question. That's a three piece head, ain't it? I got a question. Yeah. What is yeah. that you keep doing? You turn it two times, then you bring it back out. Well, you, you can't go all the way around because of the line. So you got to pull it out. And spread it over. Okay, go on. Go back. Yeah, way. it's a three-piece one. So you should only need one kit, though, right? Yeah, that's all you need. That thing was $1,100. Right. Was it a line kit or a caterpillar kit? A caterpillar kit. All right, I'll get my positive check on it. Does it need engine series on it? Okay. I'll tell you, it takes it to. I'll call three thousand dollars to replace it. Um, we did it and all that. I just, I seen some where you can buy that. I still ain't too bad. Head new, new, but is, is the head bad or just the gas? I don't know. Did they he test it before know. they took it off? They ain't took it off. Who, who's your take it to? Um, a guy that worked on the, um, he worked on the trucks that had a job that he used to work with. He said he'll have to check it to see if it's going to be the gasket or the head. But maybe I might go on and take it to it, put it on the machine. Yeah, he need to get the head tested. Yeah, yeah. he said he'd go on and put it on the machine. I mean, if you the gasket, I need to get some more red stuff. They change the gasket and do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So you getting low? No, you see. You hear me? I got some hard They're getting low to it. The rest of it. That's a cool. Mm, yep, that's what it is. It's that heavy duty stuff, huh? Oh, no. It's that color. That's, I know it red. That's that Detroit. That's some good stuff. How you know about the tightness? It's not too tight, but just tight enough? Just slug it up. Okay. That little old thing, they'll come in handy. Mm -hmm. You know, the other shop I used to work at, everything was commission, so the faster you are, the more money you make. So. You need that little old mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I know. I tell you, man, man, up me, baby. Oh, shoot. And then when he do that, I'm scared. I gotta get I'm her like, engine washed now. Oh, yeah, this thing right here was leaking really bad. It was just stripping. As you can see, the mess up there. It was real messy. So I'm gonna go get her engine washed and stuff. I got the filter and that thing changed. Whatever it's called. I usually always get this filter changed. I didn't know it was a filter up in there. But that's just me learning stuff as I go. Now, the other thing, that's my auntie right there. She's a Saints fan. Right. She's a fan. <laughs> that's my cousin. That's a cat girl fan right here. She said that's a cat girl fan. <laughs> so, this also is my one box. And he changed the um the knot sensor right there, as you can see, right there, and right here. That way, I guess that were connected. I don't know much, but I just figured I'd show y'all. Since I got down here, he was already working on that. But since I got down here, he was working. I just decided to start recording, and so. My auntie and they talking about her truck too. So y'all hear two different trucks being discussed. She got a um uh um uh, what kind of engine? A cat engine? Uh oh. Uh oh, hold on. Hold on. I didn't get in the answers, but I spotted them. See the ants, y'all? Y'all see them crowning? 
see no darn ants. Well, I just want to make sure they don't come over here and get in the ants. <sighs> that my mechanic right there. That's that cat girl right there. Yeah, see. Thing. That's that cat girl thing right there. Going <laughs> she said that's that cat girl thing. <laughs> See, yeah, this is my mechanic. Y'all talking about land at my mama house. He got some land. Mm -hmm. It go way out there. He got some land. Mm -hmm. I need to zoom it out some. Because we ain't even. Like, he just more part of it. It go way over there. The tree line. Watch the answers, TT. <clears throat> I don't know how far back the, back down to do. Yeah, way over there. It's a road. You got to come up. Shit, I don't feel like walking. Nah, they address ain't showing. I'm making sure they address not showing for the nosey folks. But you can see the road a little bit right there. I'm not walking all the way out there. But then. All the way back over there. <clears throat> Big baby be happy. She going to the house though. Now he going to put him a shop. You going to come up the um, come up the road. But you going to turn like on the other side of that pine. And you going to go across over through there. For his shop. Way over. Back over there somewhere. He'll put it way back over there somewhere. He already got a slab and stuff. And I'm just showing y'all the front. I ain't even went right on the back to show y'all the back. And I'm not going to go on the back and show y'all the back. But yeah. So yeah, that's my mechanic. And this bit, baby. So she pretty much good to go. Got to put everything back together. But yeah. So that's that, y'all. I gave y'all a little tour. Tell them, hey, Pop. I mean, I'll call you Poppy. You know Pop got in the red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> he, um, let me take that back, Dwight. I say, okay, y'all, um. Jack, you nope, but that's the only one you can get. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that right quick. So we got the injector line thing. What's that thing called again, Dwight? Injector fuel line. Injector fuel line change and the knot sensor. So I'll tell y'all later.